Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Air Force Prod 95. Uh, this video we're about to watch, I originally put together a while ago, and I want to upload it because it's pretty interesting stuff. I got to take a tour um, of a field of aircraft crashes set up for investigation training. So um, I figured I would go ahead and walk us through this one, add in some narration, keep you guys entertained, and add in a little bit more details that I now have um, since the time that I put the video together. Anyways, we'll get started. This is a Piper Seminole, the first display. Ignore that title there because I have some information now. Uh, this is November 8269 or Alpha. It was involved in a landing gear collapse back in 1998. Thankfully, no injuries involved in the incident, so it just looks like they tore the cabin up and the plane up a little bit more for the uh, investigation training purposes, you could say. So, uh, Anyways, moving on, a Robinson R-22 helicopters, our next display with a fake body there. A little bit disturbing, but anyways. Um, this, unfortunately, this incident uh, had two fatalities due to a late auto-rotation recovery. So some scary stuff, but it looks like this is basically just a training flight that did not go well. I'm not a helicopter pilot, but I do know that auto rotation is basically when the engine is not powering the rotor uh, and the pilot has to land the aircraft safely through a series of maneuvers. Um, so basically this just looks like what happens when that is not done successfully. So it looks like they just impacted the ground really hard. November 9220 Hotel is the tail number on that one. Anyways. Moving on, uh, Cessna 152 here in this display. I did some research on this, November 67250. Uh, the original incident, it was unoccupied. Uh, basically, it was totaled due to tornado damage, so most likely sitting out on the ramp and got tossed around. Uh, they threw down a couple beer bottles and stuff there to make it look like an alcohol-related incident, but that stuff does happen, so it only makes sense. Uh, but anyways, moving on, I really don't have any, any information on this set up here. Obviously we have some type of sport plane, a tail dragger involved uh, in what looks to be some type of prop strike I would say on landing um, and most likely flipped over because if the strike was severe enough typically something like this would happen. So um, not sure the exact aircraft type, couldn't find a, a tail number or anything so um, this is all the information I have on this one. Hopefully no fatalities involved, but it does look to be a pretty severe crash um, nonetheless. Um, but anyways, moving on to our last display, we have a Cessna 172 here caused due to faulty maintenance due to an elevator cable failure. So they added in a little bit of special effects there, as you can see. Um, but anyways, again, don't have a tail number or anything on this one, but I do know that it was result uh, due to faulty maintenance. So essentially, I would assume they just fell out of the sky because it could not maintain their altitude. So some scary stuff here, but you know, this is just involved in in aviation, always has been, and pretty much always will be. So just some interesting stuff to go over here. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Air Force Proud 95 here, and I will see you next time.